Welcome my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Koboman. What you're looking at is MSI brand GL62M7RD laptop, a gaming laptop to be specific. This specific laptop comes with 15.6 inch screen, full HD IPS panel. It comes with Intel i5-7300HQ mobile processor that comes with quad cores by the way. Included as a dedicated video card, we have a GTX 1050 2GB version. When it comes to RAM, we have 8GB installed. And when it comes to storage, we have 256GB of solid state memory. Also, the operating system for this laptop is Windows 10. As a side note, it does have a Steel Series keyboard which in my opinion is just a regular keyboard. I was surprised how well it actually performed and the game I used for testing is Fortnite as you can see here, in some cases even touching 100 frames per second. But first let's do some unpacking, overview, review, and then later on we're going to do a extensive Fortnite test. Let's have a look guys. So here's the box that came in the mail. I'm going to use one of these, uh, I guess, backlight separators for just the desktop that you find in, in the back of the desktop. Just kind of blocks the holes to use to cut it with. And uh, I'm just going to start cutting this. I don't like to use razors per se because you can cut yourself pretty bad with those if you're not careful. And of course, if you want to use a razor, you can certainly do so. I personally don't like to use them because they're not safe per se, especially if a young kid tries to use a razor without, or a knife, without parents' uh, approval, then it may be a bad idea. Okay, so here's the box that it came in, right, it was delivered today, go to take it out of the box. So here's the box that it, the laptop itself comes in, and you can see it's brand new. I bought it on Amazon, it was a really good deal. And um, of course there's a link in the description if you're interested. And uh, keep in mind I'm also going to test a couple of video games. If nothing else I'm going to test Fortnite, which is currently the most popular game that's being played right now. And it just kind of makes sense, so if you happen to watch this a little bit later, uh, Fortnite right now is the most popular game and uh, I'm curious to see like if somebody watches this you know a year later or so please let me know if Fortnite is still the most popular game and uh, you know some people say it's it's going to be or not oh, okay so this looks really nice I really like the look of this um, it so far, it has a little handle, and uh, let's see how it looks like. Let's pull this out. I'm just going to put this aside here, and uh, I'm going to pull it out. I, by the way, I really like the dragon, and I've seen this dragon logo many times before. So here's what it looks like. It says Gaming Notebook. If you're a gamer or simply looking for a powerful laptop for home, you owe it to yourself to check out MSI. And it's a Reader's Choice by PC Mag. Technically this model came out 2017, but it's still sold as a brand new laptop on Amazon. And for the right reasons, because the video card in it is GTX 1050, which is the current generation of NVIDIA video cards. So let's have a look in the back real quick. Um, you can see there's a little sticker here that's kind of preventing me from opening this up all the way. And I'm going to do a little bit of a zoom in here and that kind of, uh, kind of tells us what this notebook is about. And as I've mentioned on the intro, this is a 1080p full HD laptop. The higher level ones come with a 4K monitor, so if you're interested in that, it's also in the description. And uh, kind of the back of this kind of tells you, from I'm assuming, what kind of uh, experience you can expect. And it says here it's VR ready. And uh, it, it is, does specify only for GTX 1060 and above models. This one is 1050. 
Although I suspect with 1050 some of the minor, uh, you know, minor games are, I shouldn't say minor games are, but some experiences may work just as fine depending on how heavy the usage on the GPU is. But I suspect some VR games would work with this, but I'm not going to say that it will. And here it says gaming laptop with desktop level performance and it not mentions GTX 10 series which is what we have in here in comparison to the previous which was the 900M series and also talks about gaming uh, laptop with desktop level performance and it talks about how GTX 1050 versus 960 is 30% uh, faster. So GTX 1050 is faster than the 30% faster than the previous generation of GTX 960M, which used to be uh, the uh, norm for the previous generation of NVIDIA cards. And of course, this talks about you know some typical stuff that you may see, uh, talking about the matrix display, multi-display support. That's pretty standard. It just means you can connect multiple you know monitors, so you can have up to two more monitors. Um, you know, uh, supporting up to 4K display at 60 hertz. So that's pretty typical. And it also talks about XSplit Gamecaster. I'm not. I'm. I'm, th I'm assuming this is for live streaming for gaming. If you're interested in that, there's uh, dynamic temperature performance balancing. It was called Shift. And I'm assuming this just kind of controls the the performance and then it kind of uh, balances that out, probably increasing the the speed of the fans and whatnot. Uh, here it is also cooler boost exclusive cooler technology it has dedicated heat pipes for CPU and GPU which is awesome and here it talks about the storage and this comes with of PCI Express generation 3 solid state drive and this one I'm pretty sure it does come with a 256 uh, gigabyte solid state drive and I think it is M M.2 SSD, which is faster than a standard SSD. Of course, it should have an expansion for additional solid state drive. And here it talks about how this is the RGB gaming keyboard by Steel Series. I'm not sure what that means, but it says here solid shielding keyboard, optimized tac tactile feedback, anti ghost keys. And it's, so it's supposed to be like a gaming type of uh, keyboard that's installed in here. And also gives you Dragon Center, which just takes full control of your MSI notebook uh, and also here it talks about Nahimic 2 Plus and it's, it basically says that it lived to compete and immerse VR experience I'm not sure what that is but I'm assuming it talks about uh, here uh, 7.1 audio surround sound on regular stereo headsets which is really cool so it's a virtual surround sound for your headset and lastly it talks about Ethernet speed and optimized gaming connection so it basically it says it's really good for when it comes when you simply connect it to the internet so that's cool all right guys so let's get to the opening and kind of see how it looks like so this is just a little advertising sticker it says stop we're here to help should you have any questions about your gaming notebook contact us MSI okay cool so if you're not sure what's going on then you should stop and give him a call. So here's our laptop itself. I'm actually going to put it aside here real quick and we will have a look at it here in a moment. Just bear with me. I just want to get things out that are underneath here which I'm assuming is the power supply or the power adapter I should say and maybe some other cables. And here's our standard what looks like a standard power supply that you would get with this type of uh, PC or a laptop I should say very standard the cable that goes to the power is in here somewhere but it's a pretty standard uh, brick type of power adapter for the laptop and then here on the right hand side we have the actual power cord that goes into it Typical standard stuff that you would expect from a power adapter. We have the typical connector here and we're just going to plug it in as so. And of course we're going to untangle this when we use it. So let's see what's in the middle. Last thing in the middle here and looks like to be just a manual. It's a quick start guide. If that's what you're interested in, you can certainly have a look at that. I personally plan to actually uh, re-image this laptop 
into just a plain Windows Windows 10 machine so I don't necessarily have to go through all of this because I don't actually plan to use any of their utilities unless I specifically have to if I have some kind of overheating issues and some specific drivers. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside then we're gonna have a look at our laptop. So it's neatly packaged as you can see. It has a little protective uh, kind of a soft type of cloth on top. Bottom not so much. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of slide this out. It's actually very simple. So I'm just gonna slide this off. I said it's actually very simple as in, as if it was supposed to be complicated, right? So I'm gonna take this off and the cloth here itself actually protects the screen. So when I flip this over, by the way, it looks, so far it looks pretty, pretty thin. The screen itself is very thin and it has this really neat cloth protector which is actually going to come in uh, pretty neat for me, pretty useful for me because I'm going to actually travel with this laptop right and I think this laptop's around five pounds which is not too bad so let me slide this off so it's sort of like a what appears to be sort of like a um, uh, you know uh, whatchamacallit uh, oh man I know you guys are thinking quit stalling quit stalling but it's like, uh, oh my god, pillow casing, right? It's like a pillow casing, so I'm gonna slide this off. And immediately you can see there's a really nice, I almost said embroidered uh, MSI sign, but it's actually rubbery kind of a, let me close this like this, emblem that is on here. Kind of looks cool, actually. And it does, kind of looks cool, there it is and it's kind of a rubbery feel to it but you can definitely feel it. it's kind of 3D and it does have a little thing you pull off which basically makes it shine all it is is just some kind of uh, you know uh, what do you call it nylon protector on top of it so that looks pretty cool I actually like the way it looks I actually like the way it looks um, compared to some other stuff I don't want I don't like it too flashy I don't want to be in public and people look at me like, what is this guy doing? So it's actually very light. I feel it that it's very light. So let's look at the back of it. Here are the vents, the cooling vents that you that, that this uh, laptop has. And has some kind of a bezel uh, trim action, I want to say, uh, that has these red highlights. Very uh, clean, nothing too flashy, which again, I prefer. And does have two vents in the back here, and it's a little bit more thicker towards the back, I guess to allow more airflow. Okay. And here's the back of it. And you can see the copper heat pipes in there that are you know used to cool this machine. So this is actually really cool. I really like that. It does have another two vents for two additional fans. And you can see those copper heat pipes in there. And of course you can see the motherboard itself that's in there I'm trying to get a really good angle for you guys and it has a little and it has a GeForce GTX NVIDIA emblem as there and a little HDMI label and it says here factory seal for technical support they want you to call of course if you want to upgrade this I'm sure it would be pretty simple you just unscrew a couple of these screws I might do actually uh, another video for that specifically but it looks like you would unscrew all these screws around right see how all these screws are there and uh, you would remove this and upgrade to whatever you want so that's pretty cool looks like it does have plenty of ventilation okay now let's uh, open the lid and have a look oh yeah it does have these really cool rubber stoppers so that's cool, I like that. They're actually kind of extended up, so you do actually have a little bit more room. You see how they're protruding out? I actually don't mind that at all. That means it's gonna have better cooling as long as you put it on the you know, flat surface. You see how they're kind of stick out? The, the ones down here, not so much, but it makes sense because they're a bit of an angle. So that's cool. I do want to mention real quick that these are actually speakers. They're stereo speakers. You can see there are, I think, two on each side. 
So this is the front of it. And this one is actually supposedly a woofer speaker. So I mean, I'm not sure how that would work, but it's supposed to be a woofer speaker. So that's cool. And of course I wanted to talk about uh, the side uh, connectors. This is just your uh, a memory card reader. This is USB 2.0 and this is where your uh, power adapter goes to connect. The other side of it, which is the left hand side, uh, this is a lock if you want to lock it uh, basically to a like a station or something like that. And here's our RJ45 for the e Ethernet or network connection. Here's our USB 3.0. Let me just kind of move it this way. USB 3.0 which is the blue one and here's our HDMI, here's our mini display port and here's another USB 3.0 and here's our USB 3.0 type C so for your cell phones or you know the gadgets that use a type C type of uh, USB connector and here's our microphone, our uh, 3.5 microphone and here's our 3.5 headset for your stereo audio and of course as I mentioned earlier this thing said that it does support 3D 3D audio so virtual surround sound which is pretty cool so yeah indeed you can connect you can connect two more monitors with HDMI and one with display port keep in mind if you run up to 4K it does support up 4K up to 60 Hertz right and uh, I'm not sure about the display port display port usually runs a lot faster than HDMI so potentially you can run this at higher speeds so potentially you could use a 144 hertz refresh rate monitor which is pretty cool so let's go ahead and open this bad boy and uh, the screen itself I like that it's not reflective so it's an IPS screen you can actually see the reflection of my light above but it's it's not super reflective it's actually kind of matte finish I really like that I hate reflective screens so I do appreciate that and looking at the keyboard itself it doesn't look anything super fancy we do have a little protective cover here I'm just gonna move that aside and here you have typical buttons here and there's power I'm not sure what these are um, let me kind of get closer in on that uh, this looks like a fan and this looks like a return uh, I'm not sure what that is uh, let me see if I'm actually getting it so it does have a fan button there so I may actually have to end up installing some utilities MSI utilities specifically for this uh, for this uh, laptop just to kind of take advantage of that if necessary so the keyboard itself uh, it's actually pretty simple. It does feel pretty good. You can really feel the keys go in, unlike uh, regular laptops. So you feel them, but I mean, I'm not sure how cool that is, really. It does feel like you actually feel it when you press it in. You actually feel kind of like, like there's a little bit of weight to it, but it doesn't go far down. It's like very responsive. It just goes down a little bit. It just goes down very little bit, you know? See, so, let me show you here. It goes down very little bit and it's like, it, it feels kind of, I don't want to say sticky, but I'd imagine if you did spill something on here, it would get sticky real quick, meaning that the key would get stuck. There's a little camera there. Okay, next thing we're going to look at is the performance. Alright guys, so here we go. This is uh, Fortnite obviously and uh, I will change the, I, I got myself killed on purpose and I'm going to start with recording with OBS, which may slow down the gameplay a little bit here. Right now I'm set to low, but I'm going to change it here to high so you guys can see what kind of performance we can get out of high settings. And I've got motion blur turned off, set frame limit to, I'm going to set it to unlimited. And uh, okay, I'm going to set it to unlimited. And of course the 3D resolution is set to 100%, which is the maximum for this display. So we're just following this guy right here. And this is set to high. Uh, right now we're getting about 40-ish frames per second. Keep in mind, we're losing about 10, I'd say 10% of performance just because we're running OBS. But this is set to high, so... I really want to see what kind of performance we can get 
out of this laptop in uh, high activity situations, you know, meaning like big fights and build offs. So it dips down into 40s but it does maintain around 50 ish on average. Let me change this to medium. This guy is really good too, so that kind of helps make it more interesting. I'm going to again change the resolution to the maximum, 100%, and motion blur turned off because I hate it. And I'm going to start set the limit to actually 60 frame limit because we're not going to get past that anyways. Uh, without OBS running, I've actually seen it go up to 80, 90, but with OBS running, I don't expect that to be even near that. So we're doing 40s, 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 close to 50. So this is a high density area. Still not bad, very playable. This Dim, Divinity Dim, DMX, Dim X is pretty good. But at least you can see also what the quality of the screen. I really like these IPS type of screens. I'm gonna now switch it. Oh. Wow, he almost got him too. I'm gonna wait for this uh, activity to get, or to this action to be. Um, over with so that way I can change it to low oh wow he's, he's really good uh, he thought he was gonna go right but he actually went left let me switch it to low now real quick low maximum resolution and by the way, pro players set these type of settings. They set it to low and then view distance far. Apply. It looks really, looks still really nice, although it's set to low. There was a little quick popping of that bush there, but that's to be kind of expected. OBS is, oh man, OBS is really taking up so much processing power here. Although you can still stream and play this game if you really want to do. So if you're into streaming and you want to be like some of these professional guys, you can certainly stream, because OBS is running. And we're getting decent frames. I mean, considering that it's a laptop, it's still pretty damn good. I'm gonna stop recording. Oh yeah, that much better. So with OBS turned off, you can see we're getting solid 60 frames per second here. Solid 60 frames because it's set to limited to 60. Let me. Uh, As soon as this fight is over, that's actually really, really smooth. I hope it shows like that. I know it's this camera is actually recording at 30 rather than 60. Okay, let me make some. I just want to change this a little bit to 120. I want to see if we'll go past 60. Oh, okay, so. So, uh, as I uh, mentioned earlier, we're getting quite a bit of, quite decent frames here. Hitting over 100 frames per second there. Which is pretty amazing. For this laptop. Okay. So, with that, I can, so you can certainly play competitively. Well, our friend died there, but that's okay. 
we got another friend to follow. Let me see without OBS what kind of frames we can get set set we can get if we set up the medium. Medium, of course max resolution. Come on. Apply. And we're gonna set set it to far. So this is medium set to far view distance. Not bad. We're still going over, getting over 60 frames per second here. You can see right there in the right hand corner, right there. Now he's staring at the wall, so we're getting 90, 80, but oh wow, he's stuck in the storm. Okay. So pay attention to that. Oh wow, okay. So. Alright guys, so pretty good laptop. I'm really happy with this purchase. Again, if you're interested in this, there will be a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Tell your friends about it, that you can buy a gaming laptop as well and enjoy Fortnite action at this quality. So that's pretty amazing, right? Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Have a good day. Bye-bye.